Hey everybody, this is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue, and I'm going to be doing a low carb fudge today. And where I got this idea from was I was on a, another cook's channel, Juanello 1946, and he did a low carb fudge that I thought was going to be pretty good. I figured I'd do my little take on it, so uh, it's going to be a little bit different. So why don't we take a look and see what I'm doing on mine, and I will put a link to his uh, fudge video in the description as well, so you can kind of see where my inspiration came from. Anyway, let's bring it in. Let's take a look. It's going to be the ingredients. Juanello, he used peanut butter. I figured what could be better than peanut butter than some cashew butter. So we're going with some cashew butter, and that is uh, roasted and salted. Um, we're going to have some protein powder, and I'm going to have uh, the amounts in the description. But protein powder, now in his video he used a flavor protein powder, which I don't have. Mine is just plain, so I'm going with a little bit of uh, Hershey's Cocoa dark chocolate, no sugar in that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add that to this now, just to kind of get that out of the way. We have some Splenda, that's about a cup of Splenda, and one stick of butter. So our first step also, I do have some cream cheese. He used two ounces of cream cheese, I'm using four ounces of cream cheese, just to kind of change it up a little bit. Now, our first step is going to be to melt the butter and the cashew butter. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the microwave until that's melted and just to kind of tidy things up a little bit I'm going to put all my dry ingredients together and I, we're, we're going to be mixing these in all at the same time later anyway. So I have my uh, cream cheese that is kind of uh, getting softened up right now and when we come back my butter and peanut butter will be melted and then we'll be on to kind of putting this stuff together. Right. Melted peanut butter and butter here and we have our cream cheese that has been a little softened up. Now we just need to mix this in. I'm going to start with a fork and once we have that mixed in we are going to kind of whisk it up, but I just want to get it kind of broke down a little bit. So I'm going to get to uh, work on this, and we will pick it up once I have this incorporated in. So see you back. Whisked in, now I'm going to go ahead and add my dry ingredients. That's my Splenda, my dark chocolate, and the protein powder. Now we've got this mixed in. Let's go ahead, now I have a uh, just a pan lined with some foil. I didn't have nonstick foil, I did spray it just in case. So we are gonna go ahead and add this to the pan. Mm. That little uh part I dropped on the stove tasted incredible so dang I don't think I made enough I might have to double this batch up because this stuff looks like it's gonna taste pretty good so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw this in the refrigerator till it gets uh, hardened up and should be time for a taste I test have this stuff in the refrigerator for about Two hours, I then threw it in the freezer just to make sure it was uh, cooled down enough. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Looks like it's coming apart here. So here is our fudge. Let me put it back together. Anyway. I ate a little bit of this batter earlier, so now it is time to see I don't know what a piece of this tastes like. Now, one thing I did do when I did taste the batter, it was tasting so good, I doubled up the batch. So, I made a separate batch and poured it on top of this. So, I actually made two of those. Anyway, here's what it tastes like. Why don't you 
take a little taste and see what you think. Here, let me just give you a piece that you can actually hold on to. Well, you did? No, it was good. So it was good? Yes, it's good. Okay. So anyway, here is my fudge. Let's get a close-up look at that. Now, the second batch, I didn't whip the, uh, the cashew butter in as good. And actually, I think that tastes better because I got a little chunk of that butter in there. So I would say don't worry about getting it all blended in because actually that may, makes it even better. The only thing I think I could do with this to make it even more better is to go ahead and add some nuts. So, anyway, thanks for che checking out No Hippie Barbecue. Comment, subscribe. Got some other videos coming up. Take a look at those as well. Anyway, it's Sunday. I'm going to get my ass to bed early. See you later.